What up, YouTube? ECU Dubs 2006. Make at you again with a. I guess you're going to do a pickup video because of these bad boys here. Finally got them in. After like a month waiting, pre order like July 5th. Finally got them in yesterday. Just chilling at the house. Got a doorbell ring. No email notification or nothing for a tracking number. And that just popped up. So. Uh, thanks, I guess, to uh, DexTileShoes.com for finally fulfilling my order. Um, so you already know what these are. 2012 Olympic 7s. Supposedly a limited GR. Um, there's the box. Here's my size, size 14. So there you have it. I'm not going to really get into too much detail as far as this review is concerned. I'm not sure there's so many other uh, reviews that breaks it down I'm just you know kinda showing you that I finally got them because I was complaining in my other videos that I didn't get them so but here they are uh, I'm just gonna show 2004 to the 2012 2004 2012 if you on my Instagram you see I took a picture earlier today now I'm just uh, kind of showing them off, doing a quick video for YouTube. Um, just touching the leather earlier. I mean, it's kind of soft, but this right here is way better. You know, it doesn't. It's quality, as far as quality is concerned. You, we, there's no really need to discuss that. You know that these newer retros are not as up to par as the older retros, so no need to discuss that. But I just want to point out a few differences between the 2004-2012. Um, the 2012 is definitely darker. You probably can't see it in the video, but it's definitely darker as far as the blue and the gold is concerned. Like right here, and here, as well as on the um, outsole. As you can see there, it's definitely a little bit brighter. Uh, especially on the jump man, see that jump man there, and look here. Bam, bam. Tell a big difference. Um, to me, the red is definitely brighter. If you look at the uh, little peaks, the mountains, whatever you want to call it, on a 2012, you pick up. 2004 is definitely dark, and you can, I mean, it's, it's easy observation. Um, another thing is obviously the gold tips. Here's the 20, 2004. A little bit shinier, looks more realistic compared to these dull looking tips. Um, also on the back here, they're definitely different. On my right, these are the 2012, these are the 2004s. So on the 24, on the right shoe, the 7 is going this way. And on the right shoe, 2012, it's going the opposite way. On the left shoe, the 2012, it's going the same way as the right shoe, the 2004. But on this shoe here, it's going the opposite way. Also, the 9 is going a different way as well. As you can see, the 9 on the 2012 on the right shoe is going to lean more towards the right. Where on the right shoe, it's on the left. Left shoe, more on the left. Right shoe, more on the right. So they definitely changed it up there as well. As you can see, there's still factory lace. Also, another thing I noticed on the 2012 like the Harachi style little booty kind of you know is right there and when you look at this 2004 it's not even there at all I mean it's barely there it's it's a difference as far as height is concerned in my opinion but there's a little minor difference as well other than that it's about the same I mean here's 2004 soles same pattern as the 2012 
Man, I love these. These are like one of my holy grails. Watching Jordan play in the Dream Team in 92, Barcelona, was that was just amazing. As a nine-year-old, so, you know. But, I mean, there you have it. I mean, some minor differences and compare and contrast between the 2004 and the 2012 Olympic 7s. So, there's my video for today. You have any comments, rate. Uh, you have any comments, just shoot them down below. Uh, rate, comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you think of this video. Again, I finally got the 2012 uh, Olympic 7s after a month of waiting. So, I'm not going to complain. The death stock, you know, not too much damage on those as far as quality is concerned. So, I'm pretty happy. But uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me guys what you think. And uh, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at ECU Dubs. All right. I, f I finally do a, a Olympic collection video as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll let y'all guys later, YouTube. Peace.